basically about understanding the way fire burns in the bush. Um, fire has an enormous influence on what grows in the forest. Some plants thrive following a fire, others really struggle to come back afterwards. I'm hoping to find out whether any of those changes affect the way the forest will burn in the next fire. A lot of people talk about kerosene plants. It's plants that uh, really burn wildly in a bushfire. Some people say it's because of the oil content of the plants or because of the moisture or the density of the plant. I'm wanting to investigate all of those different properties and see how they interact and see just what makes a kerosene plant. Uh, the big question of course is if a fire causes changes in the amounts of kerosene plants there, how does that affect the flammability of the forest as a whole? If we know how the bush changes after fire, my research will show how those changes affect the flammability of the forest as a whole. This is pretty important in areas like the high country where I work, where a lot of the bush responds to fire by coming back with very dense regeneration, even after a pretty gentle fire at times. If we're going to use prescribed burning effectively, we need to know where it works and where it doesn't. I'm really hoping that I can help to answer that question with some of my work. In five years' time, I'd like to still be researching uh, better ways to manage fire in a way that suits the Australian bush. I'd like to dig up a lot of the old Aboriginal knowledge uh, because I think Aboriginal uh, fire management was based around managing the plants and the local ecology of the area and I think we've got a lot to learn from the way they did things. Eventually I'd like to uh, take some of my work overseas into developing countries and look at ways of translating some of their traditional knowledge into scientific principles so that I can empower local people to give uh, local solutions to fire management in their area.